Welcome to Learn Law Better. Are you having problems with issue spotting? Want to do better on this important exam skill? Stay to the end as I provide you with eight strategies to help you get better grades. Now don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the episode and click the subscribe button and the bell if you don't want to miss any future episodes. Hi. This is Bo Bies, and today I want to discuss issue spotting. After grading thousands of law school essays and talking to students later, I've noticed a few things. Specifically, most students who didn't do well on an exam thought they knew the law, even though they really didn't. What I want to do is first provide you with a few pre-exam day strategies, and then I'll move to some strategies you can use during the exam. One, outline. You should create your own outline, otherwise you will inoculate yourself from true learning. Think of it this way. You plan to swim to an island a mile out at sea. You practice in your swimming pool, but that isn't going to help you with the waves, tides, and currents you will encounter in the ocean. Making your outline is not about the outline itself. It's about the learning process you go through in creating the outline. If it was about the outline itself, you could buy one commercially and be just fine. Two, relationships. You need to understand how legal concepts are related to each other. Yesterday, I received an email from a student asking me how she should write a negligence essay that was also testing on vicarious liability. Her question made it clear to me that she didn't understand vicarious liability at a deep level. To develop mastery of the law, use the elaborative interrogation technique. This technique allows you to make connections between related ideas and help you find gaps in your knowledge. Three, checklist. If you have an open book exam, create a checklist, which is also called a skeletal outline. The outline should list each of the items in your rule outline, but with no definitions. You will be able to see all of the possible issues on the open exam quickly. Four, practice. Do practice essays and multiple choice questions. A few years ago, I decided to add multiple choice questions, bar exam style, to my exams. I noticed a strong correlation between the multiple choice component of the exam and the essay component. So if you are having problems with multiple choice questions, you may have problems with issue spotting as well. To master the law, you not only need to take practice exams, but you need feedback from a professor, academic support professional, a private tutor, or your study group. All right, it's exam day, you've studied, and you're ready to go. Here are some strategies to use on exam day. Five pre-write. When you get the exam, spend about 20% of the time thinking and pre-writing your answer. Scientific studies show that students who think and organize first outperform those who just start writing. This is because students that start writing, they miss issues, or worse yet, they forget issues that they initially spotted when they read the essay. Six, examine each fact. Each fact on an essay question is therefore one of three reasons. It's necessary for the issue, it provides background, or it is there to throw you off. For each sentence, you need to make a quick determination on which category it falls into. Background sentences are usually easy to spot. The real challenge is distinguishing issues from non-issues. My recommendation is that you place a mark by the sentences you believe are not necessary to answer the question and then come back to them one more time before you start writing. Ask yourself, is there any possible issue that could be implicated by these sentences? Seven, ask questions. After reading the facts, ask yourself a series of questions. For example, on a torts exam, is this an intentional tort? Is this negligence? Or does this sentence involve proximate cause? Basically, you're going through the issues in the class very quickly. Or on a criminal law exam with a homicide, 
are the elements for first degree murder present? Do I see second degree murder or involuntary manslaughter? By asking questions, you will begin to see the issues, which will help you on the exam. Eight weak issues. Oftentimes, students believe that only issues that are clearly defined by the facts should be discussed. That's a mistake. If some facts implicate an issue, then discuss it. Now, at some point, you do have to exercise discretion as to what is important and not important. If it doesn't look very important, it's probably not. But during an exam, you get worried. In those situations, discuss these unimportant issues, but just don't spend a lot of time on them. Just a few sentences. Also, some exams are designed for you to spot lots of issues, while other exams are designed for only a few issues. If you have an issue spotter exam, something with 15, 20, 30 issues, then your goal is to spew out as many issues as you can. This is why it is important to review an old exam from your professor if you can get one. As I wrap up this episode, let me leave you with my thoughts on the most important strategy, and that is practice. Practice exams, along with feedback, will help you to expose gaps in your knowledge. So begin practicing your exam skills at the beginning of the semester. Don't wait till the end. If you enjoy this material, hit the like button. Also, to avoid missing any future episodes, hit the subscribe and bell buttons. For more resources to help you get ahead, including my blog and newsletter, check out learnlawbetter.com. Thanks for watching.